Hey guys, I thought I'd pull together a little video of my kind of five top tips of how to stay motivated as a presenter, just because I've been receiving a lot of emails on Twitter and on my uh, via my website, just from people who are maybe trying to get into television and are maybe struggling, or they're already in television and they just had a few knockbacks and they wanted um, some tips and advice. So here are my five top tips to stay motivated. Number one, each week I write a list of mini goals that I'd like to achieve for myself and I'll date the start of the week and I'll write okay this week this is what I want to do and then I'll split it down the middle and on the other kind of side of the paper I'll say uh, this is what I achieved. So each week I've got a small list of the main things that I really want to achieve and I've got something to refer back to at the end of that week to see how I got on and you'll be surprised if you try this exercise you'll really surprise yourself at how many extra things you do every week that bring you one step closer to those goals that you often overlook. So that's a good way to stay motivated. Uh, number two would be to eat well, because I really believe that what you put into your body is how it's ultimately going to make you feel. So if you eat rubbish, you're going to feel rubbish. Uh, number three, practice yoga. Absolutely. Namaste. I'm so into my yoga. Not only does it make you feel good, you really kind of just go to a place where you forget everything else around you and you just focus on that present moment, which is so important because I think nowadays we're always going a million miles an hour. We're always focused on the next thing and the next thing. It's really important just to take stock and just be in the moment. Um, so if you're not into yoga, give it a go because believe me, it will change your life. Okay, uh, number th four. Oh, I'm four already, yeah. Uh, take action when you feel uh, the urge or the need to. Uh, with Definitely with presenting, I'll, I might be kind of working on a job and I'll f and there'll, there'll be something that will come up and I'll just immediately think, you know what, that's an opportunity. And there's been times before where I've hesitated and not said anything and afterwards really kicked myself. Um, I'll give you an example of when I did grasp the opportunity it was when I met the head of the one show at the BBC this summer at an event that I was working on. And just through conversation, he was telling me that he basically struggles to find diverse stories for the one show, which I thought was bizarre because, you know, a big show like that, you think they'd be inundated with ideas. So just there, I thought, well, you know what, Rhea, you could set up a Q&A with Sandy and with all the creative people that you know that are always desperately trying to get their ideas heard by the powers that be in telly. You could host it so he can see what you're like as a presenter and a host. Uh, and that way you're helping bring people together and finding solutions. So that I think is a good example of how um, I reacted really quickly to an opportunity and took action. Um, and finally, number five, really important, is to surround yourself with other positive people. Maybe people that are on a similar path to you so they empathise and understand your struggles and the challenges um, and just people that are going to make you feel good and that believe in you and your journey. Really, really important. Uh, do not be anywhere near naysayers or people that don't understand what you're trying to achieve because they'll always bring you down. I hope you found that helpful and if you've got any more questions, feel free to email me and I'll see you soon.